Wouldn't it be great to make money from the comfort of your home? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I get jealous anytime I FaceTime a friend that works from home. They're all cozied up on their couch. They got their robe on. They're just relaxing. Meanwhile, I have to go out there in the field to make my money. Just something about that rubs me the wrong way. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be just like those friends, but the difference is you're controlling your own schedule as well as your income. We're going to be using a credit card to our advantage. When you're looking to sign up for a new credit card, most of them are offering you something called a welcome bonus. This is an incentive when signing up and spending the required amount in the first 90 days. Those welcome bonuses can range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. You can use those welcome bonuses to your advantage. For example, the Capital One Saver Cash Rewards credit card gives you $300 when you spend $3,000 in the first 90 days. If you open up a few different credit cards at the same time, then it's super easy for you to earn an extra $1,000. A lot of people are working more than 40 hours just to earn that $1,000. All you have to do is spend money to make money. A lot of people when doing this will close their credit card after receiving the welcome bonus, then repeating this process. This method is considered credit card churning. I never recommend closing your cards or opening too many credit cards at the same time. Credit card companies hate this method, and this is the reason Chase has their 50-24 rule, which means customers who open up five or more credit cards in 24 months will be denied any of Chase's credit cards. Now you might be asking yourself, but Tim, I don't even spend $3,000 on my debit card right now in 90 days. How will I be able to spend $3,000 in the first 90 days with this credit card? I'll be putting myself in debt. But don't worry, I got you guys covered. At the end of this video, I'll cover how you will spend that $3,000 in the first 90 days, as well as a great secret method that can earn you money by having your credit card. The top three credit cards I recommend to get for the best welcome bonus, as well as cash back. Number one is gonna be the Navy Federal Flagship Rewards. Of course, I'm a bit biased on this card personally because I use it every single day. Right now, they're giving you $350 in a free Amazon Prime membership for a year if you spend $4,000 in the first 90 days. On top of that, they give you 3% cash back on travel and 2% on everything else. Number two on the list is the Wells Fargo Autograph Card. You will earn $300 when you spend $1,500 in the first 90 days. Three times points on restaurant, travel, gas stations, transit, streaming, and phone bills, and one times point on everything else. Number three and final on the list is the Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. You will get $200 cash back if you spend $1,000 in the first 90 days. And you'll get 2% cash back on every purchase. Outside of your welcome bonus, you're also making your cash back. So it's honestly a two for one special. If you played your cards right, on top of the welcome bonus, let's, let's say you got that Navy Federal Flagship Rewards card. If you spent that $4,000 in the first 90 days, you're gonna get 2% cash back on all of that. So that means you're going to get an additional $80. So that 80 plus that 350, that's $430 right there. You're halfway to that $1,000. And then also, let's say you got the Wells Fargo active cash card. You're going to get that $200 cash back. And then let's say you spent another $4,000 in the first 90 days. That's another $80. So that's another $280. You're very close to that $1,000. I always recommend to be a part of credit unions. Navy Federal is a super easy process. I have a video right here on how you can be a part of Navy Federal and also how you can turn credit into cash by utilizing your credit card from Navy Federal. According to statistics, 40% of people have a credit score of less than 700. Included into that is one of my best friends of over 10 years. The difference between him and other people is he's incarcerated. He's been incarcerated for over four years now. So what I did was I took matters into my own hands. I added him as an authorized user on my credit card company. Not only has his score increased dramatically, but he also has the ability to go to a dealership and get a vehicle with no money down and also use the tools in this video to make him money with his credit card. Not only has his score increased over a 700, he now has a credit card of over five years of age reporting to his credit report. You can do the same exact thing with others that you know with a poor credit, but you can make money while doing this. If I'm doing this with someone who's incarcerated, you can do this with so many people that are out in society with poor credit. All you need is the person's name, social, and email address. If you have a credit card with good standing, high limits, and good age, then you can make good money. The average trade line is anywhere from $250 to $600. And the best part is, you don't have to physically give them a credit card. So you don't have to worry about them racking up a bunch of money on your credit card. You can add up to 10 people depending on your credit card company. I recommend that you first contact your credit card company and let them know, hey, I'll be adding a bunch of different authorized users in the next few months. I'm helping out family members that are released back into society. I want them to have a great start by adding them as an authorized user to boost the credit score. Make sure to switch out each authorized user after 60 days. You have an opportunity to make anywhere from $2,500 to $6,000 
every 60 days. That's a good amount of money to make if you ask me. Last but not least, manufacturer spending. This is a very, very, very touchy subject in the credit card world. Lots of people think this is an illegal method, but I'm here to tell you it's completely legal. If you don't believe me, pause this video, go on Google and type in whether or not it's legal or not. This is when you use your credit card to generate points, miles, or cash back by purchasing items that can be easily converted into cash or to pay off debt. You may see a lot of YouTube videos about this method. What they're doing is purchasing Walmart gift cards with their credit card, using that gift card to purchase money orders, then depositing that money order into their bank account. Once that money order clears, they're paying off their credit card and then repeating the process. What that does is gains you reward points that can be used for travel, cash, or just items that you want. That's an older and more time consuming method. A better way to do this is to go to stores like Macy's, Nordstrom, or just somewhere that sells higher end items. You're gonna purchase, let's say, $5,000 worth of goods from the store. You're gonna be paying using two different cards, your credit card as well as your debit card. You will be paying using a split payment method. 51% of the purchase will be on your debit card and 49% on your credit card. So that means $510 on your debit card and $490 on your credit card. The same or next day, you're gonna go return those items. They're gonna refund that whole $1,000 to your debit card. So that means that $1,000 is gonna go straight to your bank account. The reason they're gonna refund all of that to your debit card is because your debit card spent more of the purchase. It spent that 51%. So after those funds clear into your bank account, you're gonna go back and you're gonna pay off that credit card. You're gonna go pay back that $490. If you have a great credit card like the Navy Federal Flagship Rewards, you're gonna be getting 2% cash back on that purchase. So that means I just earned me a free 50 bucks just by using this method. This is the same method that you'll be using to meet those minimum spends to get your welcome bonuses. So if you watch earlier in the video and you're like, hey Tim, how am I gonna spend $3,000 in the first 90 days? This is the same exact way that you're gonna be doing this to earn those free welcome bonuses. Of course, the higher amounts you spend, the more cash back you earn but make sure to tread lightly when doing this. Banks hate this method. This is the reason why people think this is illegal. That's three different methods that you can literally use right now to start producing income. Let me know any other creative methods that you have in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime I post a video, and as always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much. Before you guys go, I need to leave you guys with a very important gem that I just learned the other day. I know a lot of people have planners just like myself. Like let's say you're just planning out your day, go get something to eat, make a YouTube video, this and that. So what you need to do is take it a step further. So if I need to go get something to eat, I need to go get something to eat by 2 p.m. If I need to make a YouTube video, I need to make that YouTube video by 4 p.m. Set timers on your daily plans so that you're not scrambling all day and just taking your time to reach those goals. Hopefully this helps someone reach more goals and just achieve more things in their life. Thank you guys. As always, I love you guys and good luck to everyone.